cybersecurity tools and solutions have become more effective at identifying and neutralizing malware, many attacks still succeed due to user negligence or as a product of social engineering attacks. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the importance of user training and malware prevention. Nowadays, the threat of malware has become larger than ever before. Malware, short for malicious software, is basically a sneaky and ever-evolving threat that can have some devastating effects on individuals, organizations, and even entire nations. While technological advancements have led to the development of sophisticated cybersecurity tools and solutions, you should keep in mind that human elements is still a critical factor in the battle against malware. That's why user training education and awareness play a fundamental role in preventing malware attacks. And so in this video, we're going to be exploring the importance of user training and malware prevention and how it can be a highly effective defense against this ever-present threat. But before we get into that, it's important to note that using a reliable antivirus goes hand in hand with user training to stop malware and other cyber threats. So if you don't already have one or are looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews in the description down below, along with some discounts, so make sure to check those out. All right, so to understand the significance of user training and malware prevention, we must first understand what malware is and how it operates. Malware includes a wide range of malicious software, including viruses, trojans, ransomware, spyware, and worms, among others. These malicious programs are designed to infiltrate computer systems, steal sensitive data, disrupt operations, or cause other forms of harm. While cybersecurity tools and solutions have become more effective at identifying and neutral neutralizing malware, many attacks still succeed due to user negligence or as a product of social engineering attacks. Malware attacks are delivered in a bunch of different ways, and your actions are often the entry points of these attacks. So let's take a look at some of the methods cyber criminals use to deliver these malware attacks. First off, we have phishing attacks, which involve the use of deceptive emails, websites, or messages to trick you into revealing sensitive information or downloading malware. That's why proper training can help you recognize and avoid phishing attempts, reducing the success rate of such attacks. Next, we have something I mentioned earlier, which is social engineering. Cyber criminals often use social engineering tactics to manipulate users into giving out some of their confidential information or have been doing certain actions that would help the attacker. Other than that, some users may accidentally download malware when they access pirated software, visit untrustworthy websites, or open attachments from unknown sources. Nowadays, even ads on certain websites would trigger drive-by downloads if you clicked on them, which would install malware on your computer without your consent. Lastly, weak or easily guessable passwords can be exploited by malware to gain unauthorized access to systems. And most of the times, if you're using similar passwords for all your accounts, you're basically given these criminals access to everything related to you. Okay, now that we know some of the common methods cyber criminals use to launch malware, let's take a closer look at some of the key aspects of user training. First of all, we have increased awareness. Educating users about the types of malware, the tactics used by attackers, and the potential consequences of a successful malware attack would make them better equipped to recognize potential threats and take appropriate actions. Another key aspect would be the recognition of suspicious activities. Users trained to identify signs of malware or suspicious behavior are more likely to report and address potential threats. This can help contain and mitigate the impact of malware attacks before they cause any significant damage. Other than that, training encourages responsible online behavior, such as not clicking on suspicious links, avoiding the download of unverified content, and using caution when opening email attachments. These habits are essential in reducing the risk of malware infection. Another example would be that when it comes to phishing attempts, training can help users recognize phishing emails and understand the importance of not sharing sensitive information via email. User training can also teach individuals how to create and manage strong, unique passwords, which reduces the risk of unauthorized access to accounts and systems. And lastly, users who are well informed about the importance of regularly updating their operating systems and applications are less likely to have vulnerable software that can be exploited by malware. 
Now, before we move on to employee training in corporate environments, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, having all them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection. The Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files. The Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint. Instant data leak notifications with Surfshark alert and Surfshark Alternative ID, which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor, and let's get back to the video. All right, so in the corporate environment, employee training is pretty essential when it comes to protecting sensitive data and maintaining the integrity of the organization systems. And that's because malware attacks on businesses can result in significant financial losses, damage to reputations, and legal liabilities. So let's take a look at some of the reasons that make employee training such a pivotal procedure when it comes to the company's cybersecurity. The share of ransomware attacks really dramatically rose over the past years and uh, usually by more than 100 uh, up to 200 percent per year. They're making businesses poorer. This is, you know, big money, H hundreds of millions of dollars, maybe even billions of dollars per year in ransom attacks. For starters, companies that handle customer data have a responsibility to protect this information. Employee training helps make sure the staff members understand their role in protecting customer data from malware attacks. Another factor would be the preservation of the intellectual properties. These intellectual properties count as valuable assets for many organizations. Training helps employees recognize the significance of protecting company secrets and intellectual property from theft or sabotage. Other than that, maintaining business continuity is yet another reason that makes employee training as important as it is. Malware attacks can disrupt a business's operations, leading to downtime and financial losses. Employee training can help reduce the risk of such disruptions by preventing malware infections and ensuring a quick response to any incidents that happen. And lastly, in many industries, there are regulatory requirements regarding data protection and cybersecurity. And here, employee training would make sure of the company's compliance with these regulations and help it avoid some severe legal consequences. And that's it for today's video on the importance of user training and malware prevention. Don't forget the use of reliable antivirus goes hand in hand when it comes to cyber threat prevention. So if you don't have any installed or are looking for some recommendations, I'll leave some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend, along with some discounts in the description down below. So make sure to check those out. Also, if you like the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love to interact with you guys. And that will be all for today and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.